We've been reporting on how federal workers, tourists and businesses are being affected by the government shutdown. But what about brides and grooms? Robert Lyle spoke with one couple who may have to postpone their I do's. This is going to be really emotional for me. Because for Mylon Lee and Mike Cassesso, today is no tourist stroll along the majestic marble of the Jefferson Memorial. Instead, they grip each other's hands because otherwise they'd fall apart. Knowing that this is where our wedding was supposed to be and now it's not going to happen is really heartbreaking. Devastating for a 29 year old bridegroom who wanted to give his bride the world. She said her planning our wedding two weeks before we got engaged. But two days ago came a regretful RSVP, not from one of the 120 25 guests, but from the National Mall and Memorial Parks. It's just cut and dry. You know, you, you cannot have a large gathering on the mall and you can't have a perm if the government shut down. It has to be terminated. The government shutdown translated into lost deposits on chairs, flowers, photographers, and a frenzy of what to tell guests flying in today. That's when the blushing bride used language that makes a sailor blush. Oh, expletive, this is really <laughs> happening. <laughs> Unbelievable to the couple who says their love affair bloomed amongst the cherry blossoms. We had our first date at the Jefferson Memorial. The second date, where else? Monticello. TJ, he's, he's a big part of our relationship. Yeah. But gone are the plans for rose petals and white paper. In its place, black barricades and police tape. With just three days to I do, this wedding has been crashed by lawmakers. This is a great example of how there are unintended, unforeseen consequences of shutting down the government, and this is just one of them. The couple's reception venue is now offering a location for the wedding, and it now seems that television networks have come courting. It appears they may do this wedding on live TV. At the Tidal Basin, I'm Robert Lyles, ABC 7 News.